We now continue our coverage of the terrible aftermath of Ron Paul's victory, which has left Ron Paul supporters across the nation with nothing to talk about. For an update, let's go to Jane Carmichael. Jane. Thanks, Andrea. For the past year and a half, thousands of Ron Paul's most obsessive supporters have devoted their every waking moment to the Ron Paul campaign. Last night, they were celebrating his victory, but today they woke up to the cold realization that they have nothing to fill their pathetically empty lives. Some voters' fixation with Ron Paul campaign ran so deep, they've lost the ability to process non-related information. They just keep telling me to check out some new Ron Paul video on some Ron Paul blog or something. You're not going to rest. We are not going to do anything until Ron Paul is the next president of the United States, and we, we are we are full steam ahead. Who will take care of these people? We we really don't know. Many have already driven away their friends and family with months of endless praise for Ron Paul's latest speech and constant reminders to vote. All right, Ron Paul supporters, that video was pretty much a joke, but I think it's important to differentiate between putting a man on a pedestal and focusing your life on this election day versus knowing and advocating the ideas of liberty. So I want to encourage you to think critically and act on your conclusions. On one extreme is statism. On the other extreme is complete liberty. If you truly care about liberty, then why stop halfway? Why say, let's go for this candidate? He's, he's not as bad as the others. He wants a smaller government than the others. Well, why be satisfied with that? Why not advocate the ideal? Why not say self-government? Why not conclude that you know how to run your life better than, any, better than anybody? Ron Paul himself says that the ideas are important, and in fact they are. Ideas have consequences. So I encourage you, if you are out there right now campaigning for Ron Paul, advocating for Ron Paul, sharing his videos, talking to everybody you know about him, why? Why not strike the root? So you've described yourself as a volunteerist. Can you tell us what that means for the big picture and what your ideal society would be as a volunteerist? Voluntary means no coercion. So if you want to change people's habits or change the world, you should do it by setting examples and trying to persuade people to do it. You can use force only when somebody uses force against you. What do you say to people who advocate for self-government rather than a return to the Constitution, just like that? Great. I, I'm fine. I, and, and, uh, I think that's really what my, uh, my, my goal is. I don't like the use of force. I like volunteerism. That's what a free society is supposed to be all about. Get us!